let's talk about the forces that keep molecules together. Ionic hydrogen dipole dipole London and induced. These intermolecular forces affect solubility, of which Henry's law gives a decent estimation. They're solids, liquids, gases, plasma, and supercritical fluids. These states are all configured by changes in pressure and temperature. And things like surface area, volume, molecular weight, and shape make it easier and harder for molecules to separate. I just thought of a joke that's so damn funny. What? You'll fall to the floor in laughter. <laughs> Oh, intermolecular forces are the reason Why things do not randomly float apart And if we didn't have them on this planet The world would dissolve, we wouldn't exist at all When the molecules of a liquid surface Have enough energy to escape their fate They evaporate into gas, but not permanently Instead they go back and forth between liquid and vapor and the force of particles on a liquid surface generates what is known as vapor pressure. But remember just one thing, this dynamic equilibrium can only be established in a closed system. Now let's talk about solutions, they're just homogeneous mixtures of a solute separated by a solvent. Ion forces are disrupted and the energy of the mixture is spread out by the reaction more and more. This increases the amount of possible microstates allowed, so delta H submix must be positive. So how do we sense out all this carbon? How do you get an and a street? Why do we sign up for it in the first place? medical school to expand your minds to have a lot of fun. Many a thing you can learn in chemistry. Many a thing at some point you'll forget. But at least you'll always know that intermolecular forces are the reason the universe isn't just a gas cloud. Oh, rain or shine, you will know confidently. Intermolecular forces have got your back.